to you and from Portland we now turn to Lewis and Auburn, an area that suffered extensive flood damage from that storm back in December. News Center means Jack Mulwood is there tonight with a look at how people farther inland are getting ready. Hi Jack. Yeah, Brian, that's right. Throughout the course of today, Lewiston and Auburn City officials were meeting to discuss the intensity of the so-called unpredictable storm here in Androscoggin County that will make its way through the state. It's set to bring snow, freezing rain, some regular rain, and then also flooding, which is something that people here in the Lewiston Auburn area are still working to recover from. This past summer and just this December, the Lewiston Auburn area is no stranger to the weather putting a damper on things. This storm is going to be kind of a weird combo. Lewiston Public Works Director Kevin Gagne says despite all of the recent bad weather, he still doesn't have enough plow drivers on the job. Teamed up, we kind of hit him what we call the A team. That's the first first group of staff to go out and hit the storm hard, depending on the timing. Uh, then the B team's kind of the backup, and that's where we're really fall off on staffing. Still, you won't see many plow trucks in the parking lot as everybody's resting at home, preparing for either this or this. We're typically on that 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 mixed boundary. Gagne so. says they're getting both snow and rain, but are tracking how much of each they may get. And as the Twin Cities prepare for yet another storm, That's people cool. without anywhere to go are left wondering what exactly they can do. Well, I'm trying to stay warm, sir. It's cold. Tim Gill is homeless and says he spent this past weekend's storm outside. I uh, wish they had more shelters. I, I wish they had more. A lack of adequate shelter space in the Twin Cities is exposed during the worst weather. Volunteer Dan Campbell says it's a mad dash to help people. More frantic. Frantic not from my part, frantic from their part. Collecting donations and getting as many people he can into hotels for the night. My worry for tonight, as it is any night, but more so because it was three degrees this morning, is that there's somebody I'm going to go to and they're not going to be there. Preparing for the worst, while all they can do is hope for the best. And that last storm system that rolled through here, the Department of Public Works here in Lewiston tells me that flooding in December came from the surge coming through the river. He tells me a form of flooding that could come from this episode of snow and then turning to rain could be that all of the snow that you see around me could be pl uh, clogging those storm drains. So Department of Public Works not only has to be closing off roads in the event of flooding, but they'll also be going around to see if they could unplug those storm drains themselves if people haven't done so already. For now, we're live in Lewiston. Jack Mulmud, New Center, Maine.